I was actually there. I was literally going to say, I don't want to throw you under the bus. I'm glad, I was going to say, like, I, you know, I understand that, Holly, you were in Bartlett Lake, but you're doing yes. okay. You don't feel sick. I feel great. Uh, the area we were in, first of all, it's just so beautiful up there, but the mm -hmm. area we were in, I mean, I feel like in those photos, you could kind of tell a yeah. little bit, like where that greenish type of algae was. Right. Where we were, it was pretty much crystal clear. Yeah. And so maybe it's just kind of spotty. You kind of have to keep an eye out on certain areas. Um, but... I'm alive and I'm well. If I yeah. go down, I guess we know why, right? <laughs> it's definitely something to know about, though, if you're going to those areas. I'm sure, yeah. you know, if you knew that beforehand, you'd probably keep a closer eye. But, for sure, yeah. You know, You're right. And a lot of people, yeah, maybe heading to the lake for the Father's Day tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so good information to keep uh, in mind for sure. Here's look at those temperatures outside right now. We are in the mid to lower 90s across the valley still. So it's going to be a warm Saturday night for tonight. And those temperatures tomorrow are also going to feel very similar to today. So if you're waking on up early tomorrow, morning if you're an early bird you will feel these cooler temperatures but they will definitely not last long we'll drop to the lower 70s in some areas across the valley tomorrow it will warm up quick so head out early for any exercise temperatures will jump into the 90s right around that nine o'clock hour and we're almost near the triple digits by 10 so a large majority of the day tomorrow we will be in the triple digits 107 our high expected for tomorrow if we go above that then it will make it the warmest day of the year so far 86 the high for Prescott tomorrow 78 for Flagstaff and 90 for Sedona. So the reason for this, we have high pressure that's kind of building in. That allows us to warm our temperatures up. But right behind that, we're tracking this low just to the north of us, kind of coming off British Columbia. And this is going to cool our temperatures down by the middle of the week. It will also kick up the wind ahead of that system and kind of keep that wind with us the next couple of days. So here's tomorrow morning. It will be breezy across the state. The wind will really intensify and pick on up through the afternoon and evening in eastern and northern Arizona. Those areas we could see gusts up to about 40 miles an hour. There is also going to be a wind advisory, a fire weather watch for northern Arizona Monday because of these windy conditions. So keep that in mind with the dry relative humidity. Also, the gusty conditions expected this weekend. It could lead to high fire danger. So again, just keep that in mind, especially if you will be outdoors in northern and eastern Arizona. We're looking all across the state. Again, we'll have that windy icon uh, for areas like Prescott, Heber, Pine Top, and Cottonwood will be in the 80s for Heber and Pine Top. Looking ahead to Flagstaff, temps in the 70s, much warmer in Sedona. Payson will be in the 80s and the Grand Canyon, 83 degrees for your Father's Day as well. So we'll go from 107 on Sunday, and then here's that nice cool down. That system that I mentioned to you coming up from the north, it will cool our temperatures down just a little bit. Still, it's going to be the triple digits. It's still hot, but again, keep in mind 105 is normal for this time of the year. So we'll cool things down Tuesday. We're back to 104 Wednesday and Thursday, a little bit cooler Friday, but still hanging on again to those triple digits through Saturday, not tracking any chances for rain the next seven days.